ladies and gentlemen you're looking at the thumbnail i am actually in the process of servicing a car for a client i have a client that has been buying cars from me for over six years so right now she has a loaner car she has a 2013 honda pilot on the way she paid me for the car in advance from a trade-in from a range rover so now she's waiting on the 2013 honda pilot to come in and meanwhile while she's waiting she has a loaner car from me so the loaner car the ac went out right and i took the car to car rx just to fill up the freon and put some dye they charged me over 200 dollars. the ac freon basically went out of the car so it was evaporating or it was leaking from somewhere so took the car back they found where the car was leaking from car rx charged me an unbelievable amount and i'm gonna go ahead and show you how much they charge and then i'm gonna come back and show you how much i fixed it for so don't overpay for some of these services this is basically just an awareness video to keep you guys conscious of the ridiculous prices that some shops might charge out here for these services so right now i'm gonna turn the camera around and i'm gonna show you what car rx was trying to charge me to fix the ac in this car as you can see in the thumbnail it explains everything over one thousand dollars for an ac service don't you dare try it okay i'm gonna show you how much they're trying to charge and through the video i'm gonna show you how much i eventually ended up paying let's go so there you go and that is the receipt all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see right there we have a charge for the ac condenser for 619.98 and then we have a charge here for the climate control hose which is the hose that goes from the compressor to the condenser right and you can see the charge right there and then it says shop fees about fifty dollars and then it has another fee some warranty stuff that i don't even understand the service guarantee for hundred dollars and drum roll please the total comes out to almost twelve hundred dollars okay and that's what they basically quoted to fix this problem now on to what i paid to fix this problem all right guys in addition i also forgot to mention the previous charge so if you look over here you see i was charged for an AC recharge and refrigerant, which they put in there, they put in a die, and you can see they already charged me about $200. I believe the guy told me $119.99, and at the end of the day, they switched up the price to $199, and the total came out to, with taxes to $219, just to put refrigerant, which is Freon, in my car. This is what they charged me, right? So, just a side note all said and done i went ahead and figured out what was wrong with the car based on the die that car x had put in the in through the uh, ac lines and i figured out the problem with the car was that it was leaking freon from the ac line that goes from the compressor to the condenser so i went over to autozone they had this hose basically i called autozone uh the autozone i went to didn't have it so they called a different store that had it and i went over there and picked it up the hose was less than $90. It was about $72 with tax. So it was about $80 something dollars. I'm going to show receipts. And also, after I got the hose, I was able to pick up a can of Freon from Frankie's Junkyard, which cost about $27 for two cans. All right. And the label, drum roll, the label to put on the AC line is $80. So add that up $27 plus $80 plus, say, $90. Bucks. As you can see, I spent less than $170 to fix a problem that Car X quoted me for almost $1,200. So guys, be careful out there. And uh, right now, the car is getting fixed. And hopefully it should be done before the end of the day and this car will be delivered to the client. Right now, the client has my loaner car and they're driving around my loaner car. At least they just have it at their disposal. I gave them the 2013 Toyota Prius V. In exchange, I took the car to get it fixed and then once this car is being fixed i'm gonna go ahead and drop off the car and pick up the loaner car so be careful with some of these services everything is not set on stone just because they look professional doesn't mean that they're worth the price that they're quoting you i was basically being overcharged by a whole thousand dollars so guys be careful and uh, shop around especially if you're being cost conscious you want to shop around and make sure you get the best deal possible this is not a downer on a car x that's just their business model and that's what they're doing over there if you are someone that wants to save money everybody wants to save money that's not the financially responsible route to go so guys a little bit of sad news while the mechanic was taking out the ac condenser one of the screws broke and he told me since the screw broke into the condenser i have to replace the whole condenser 
So I called around and a lot of AutoZone don't have it. They don't have this condenser and there's only one AutoZone that has it. So I took the mechanic's car and I told him to go ahead and start taking out the condenser because I need this job done today because I need to return this car to the client today so that I could get the loaner car back. I'm heading to that AutoZone right now to grab this condenser. Hopefully by the time I get back, the mechanic is done taking out all the parts that has to do with an installation of a condenser. You know, he basically, he's taken out the old one and he's ready for to install the one that I come back with. So I'll keep you guys posted and stay tuned. There's an AutoZone and that's the price of a new condenser right there. Even at uh, $500, I'm still getting the whole job done for 50% off. So it's still worth it. And we're going to see, you know, what the total comes out to. But it's about under 500 bucks, 263 and some change, about 263.49, which uh, that's tax included, plus the previous 150, call it 170. So you see that's about under $500. That's still better than $1,200. So we're still winning. All right i'll get back to you guys all right guys i got them and here we go back at the shop right now and uh as you can see the new condenser is being installed the new hose so the new hose is about to be plugged up right here to the condenser Here we go, the AC is fixed and that's the temperature right now. 40s. So the car is cooling real good right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the old hose. And as you can see, that's where it was leaking from, right there. Okay? It's leaking from right there. And that's the old one. So guys, at this point, I'm on my way back to deliver the car to the client. So I already informed them and let them know that the car is ready and they're very excited. And this was done very expeditiously. I did not get out to the office till 12 noon today. I didn't do my workout this morning. I did some push-ups and I was ready to go. So I just informed them that I'm on my way to deliver the car. Uh, they haven't responded yet, but uh, this is happening regardless, right? So I'm heading over there. This car is ready. Did the basic checks, checked all the oil, checked fluids, checked the brake fluid. Checked every fluid, topped off the oil, and the uh, AC is cold as hell. It's frozen over. Like, it's cold as, what is something that's cold? It's cold as the Kalahari uh, Desert in the night or Kilimanjaro uh, mountain top at the peak of the day. Whatever you want to call it. It's just, it's icy cold. So, the AC works now, and... Um, I'm on my way to deliver the car, so stay tuned. And uh, because of the time crunch that I have lately with work and so many things that is going on with my business, I usually have time to sit down with the client, have lunch, dinner, some evening meal. But these days, I regret that I don't have that much time to do that. This is one of my favorite clients. We always sit down and she tells me about family and I tell her about my dating life and we just have conversations like regular people but uh stuff has been so busy that i'm always on the go but um hopefully things normalize pretty soon and i can catch up with her she's a very sweet lady all right guys stay tuned all right guys we're here i basically walk up to the mailbox and here's the key for the coin put it in there there goes my key. And everybody, I'm here with Sharon. Sharon, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. And I've delivered her car, so your AC is working, so don't blame me next time. 